Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Wonder Girl number one. All right, so this is kind of interesting because uh, I just, well, obviously it's called Wonder Girl, but it was Wonder Woman in Infinite Frontier, but obviously they have to differentiate her, I guess, from regular Wonder Woman. So I feel, I don't know, they probably could have done that better because I feel like, uh, you know, um, like they went through this with Supergirl, you know, her saying like uh, being called a girl or whatever. I don't know. But I feel like, uh, you know, it's kind of silly and moot and defeats the purpose because, uh, you know, we're trying to take away the negative connotations of the word girl, you know, like you fight like a girl or whatever. Um, God knows I heard that all my life. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I, I think, you know, along the lines of girl power, it is kind of a good thing. And I have to say, I, but I love this Wonder Woman. I mean, Wonder Girl. I love her so much. I think it's probably the best thing to come out of Infinite Frontier. Um, one of the things I love so much about DC's characters is I feel like they can um, do twists and turns on them to great effect because there's such great foundation for, like, the mythos of the character. And basically, this is supposed to be the Wonder Woman, you know, from the future. And I just love her costume. I, so she's, like... Uh, from the Amazon, and um, I just think that, uh, so we get, you know, a Wonder Woman of color right there, but then she has a great costume. I love this design. It's super intricate, and it's, you know, reminiscent of Wonder Woman, but it's very much a departure, but she has the tiara, and I love her tiara. That's so much better than the inverted thing that we have now to deal with on Wonder Woman. Which brings me to a point, I love Joelle Jones. This art is amazing. I'm so glad that a woman is writing and um, drawing the series because first of all, she's a good writer, it's entertaining. I really like the first two issues of Wonder Woman, Infinite Frontier. And so um, I'm glad that she took over um, and her colorist, Jordi Belair, is very good. A great match together. I mean, um, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of modern comic book artists. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I don't know if I'm just not used to the style, but they all kind of mesh together in a way. Like this doesn't look super exciting to me. I'm sorry, but, um, but Joelle Jones is very stylized, very good. And it's funny because uh, looking at this and um, reading the first, her first two issues of Wonder Woman for, uh, infinite frontier is that um i thought oh gosh this is so much better than you know what they normally do in the regular monthly wonder woman comic book and uh that's kind of a shame <laughs> because it feels like D diana just cannot get her due um i don't know i have my hopes up every time they bring, bring in a new creative team the new one's doing okay diana and asgard or whatever but um the one before it just turned god awful quick and they as they usually do and uh they just seem fleeting and unmemorable and not to have a great grasp on the character and um joelle jones seems to have a great grasp on this character you know she's fun she's hip she's modern she has like sort of a, a realistic sort of personality I mean, she's a little abrasive. And I have to say, this uh, is jumping me to one of the points I want to say. I think that, uh, I mean, this is amazing. I love this art. She draws all the, uh, you know, other characters in the DCU exciting. I mean, I think she's worked on Batman before um, and Catwoman. So, you know, she's used to those Gotham characters. But I love it. What a great Nightwing, Wonder Girl, um, Wonder Woman. So, I mean, this just makes me want her to be like uh, on the regular Wonder Woman comic book. I think she totally should be. I think that she does such a great job here. This was obviously a hit for them to turn it into a regular series. And um, it's fresh, it's different. I really like the art style. It has a great flow to it. And she's a really likable character with a cool costume. So I think the potential for this is so good. Got a flipped side image page there, but I'm loving like the, you know, the Greek stuff going on here. And I don't know, like the colorist, I have to say, uh, again, Jordi Bella, she just brings a lot to the table and uh, really makes uh, this art pop. It's very stylized. It's almost like fashion illustration, but 
um, just totally like through the lens of a superhero comic book, if that makes any sense at all. But um, I don't know. It's just fun to look at. She's a cool character. I like her. Um, very refreshing is a great word for it. Like this series has a lot of things going for it and I highly recommend it. So if you haven't read it and aren't hip to the Yara Floor Wonder Woman slash Wonder Girl, then I think you definitely need to pick it up. Joelle Jones is definitely, uh, I'm a fan. So um, I will be back for number two. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I will bring you some more later. All right, thanks guys.